Hey, this is Daryl Webster here. Just wanted to show you a quick trick that I um, discovered with attaching files into Outlook if the file is located in SharePoint Online. Uh, first of all, I'd like you to excuse the background music if you can hear it. I'm not in the tropics. I have a lovely Cook Islands neighbour who likes to play um, his music loud and, and I quite like it actually. I feel like I'm in the tropics sometimes anyway. It's quite relaxing. But anyway, um, we've probably seen this familiar dance. So I'm opening up a, a new message and I want to attach a file and I'm like, okay, the file is in SharePoint Online. So, you know, I can go to attach file and I'm like, okay, it's looking at my local drive. What do I do? So we um, might go through this dance. We go into our... OneDrive, I'll just use OneDrive as an example, but it could be a team site. And we go and say uh, download file, download file, manage, download a copy, save it to our um, download folder, open it up, and there it is. And then we attach it via our usual method of attach file, downloads. How many clicks have we got up to so far? I haven't been counting, but we'd locate the, the document somewhere in there. Yellow, 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 yellow. There it is. And um, and then perhaps attach it that way. So there's far too, far too many clicks. And um, I just recently wrote a little request about how can we make this experience a bit easier, at which point I bumped to something interesting. So, um, OK, we've got our message. We haven't attached anything yet. So I've opened up Word. And my initial post was, hey, um, if we've got this experience where we can go into Word, we go into Open or Save As, and we get these cool locations down the middle column, and we can go to um, Recent Documents, or um, if we go into our uh, Office 365 or SharePoint Online space, we can go to Recent Folders, and I can go into, um, you know, Shared Documents. Let's see if it, yep, it fits in the recording frame, and I'm browsing directly to the SharePoint Online site. And I'm thinking, well, why can't we have that with an Outlook when we click on Insert a Document? Um, we don't get that experience. However, this is what I bumped into. So I'm in Recent Documents, and I'm thinking, okay, I've got the document open, and it's in SharePoint Online, but I'm seeing it on my desktop. What happens if I do this? Right click, Copy Path to Clipboard. Hmm, wonder what that does. Go back to my message. It's my blank message. Insert my document. Attach file. What have I got my clipboard? I've got the path to the document. Okay, what happens if I click insert? Is this going to work? Tickety tickety tick. So what it does do is goes away to SharePoint Online. Begins to download it locally, so I don't have to do any of that kind of stuff um, in, a, in extra clicks, and it's attached that document directly to the message. Whoa, okay, so if I can do that directly with documents, can I do that by just browsing file locations? So again, I'm going through the thinking that I want to attach this document that I've been working on recently. It's in one of my um, favorite folders or recent folders that I've pinned. Um, I'm going to go into my shared documents. Right click, and right click over here, copy path to clipboard, go back over to my new message, attach a file. And we're actually going to get that effect now anyway, um, because we've already attached that file directly from SharePoint Online, and it's trying to locate the, the document in that last location. But if I hadn't done that, and I'm going to a completely different location in SharePoint Online, paste, Hit enter. Okay, so we haven't got a document at the end of that path. It loads up that new location in SharePoint Online and directly from Outlook in a new message. So, I mean, it's a workaround. And sure, you've got to open up your document or, or the application that you want to attach it from. But it certainly is um, less clicks than having to go to the site, download, save to download, attach the document from local storage. It's attaching it from the, the, the final source of truth, the single source. So we're always going to be getting that. So I hope you found that tip useful and thanks for watching.